As 2022 draws to an end and you're looking for doable New Year's resolutions, I have one for you. Release your music. Yes, it's time to stop procrastinating and set aside those excuses as we look at three reasons you should release your music in 2023. Hi folks, I'm Mike. And I hope you're well. And I also hope you have an amazing 2023. Now, whilst this video is sponsored by DistroKid, they didn't actually ask me to make it. I'm making this video because I truly believe that releasing your music is a transformational experience. And I also want to bust a couple of myths which may be holding you back. Now, rather than wait till the end of the video for my number one reason, let's talk about it right away. Let me know in the comments down below if you've got projects on your computer which have been there for months or even years. Let's not talk about the ones that have been there for decades. Shame on you. I have been guilty of this myself. And I can tell you that once you bust through this barrier that you're currently facing, it's going to be extremely liberating for you. But let's look at what some of those so-called barriers are. Uh, the mix is going to be better after you get that new microphone and re-record those vocals. Or when you get those new monitor speakers, everything's going to be easier to mix and it's going to sound brilliant. Or if you just have have time to tweak it a little more, uh, then you're going to make a much, much better mix. You're kidding yourself. Honestly, we are all at the stage we're at at the moment. We will always regret our mixes in the future. I think John Lennon even mentioned to George Martin once that if he had the opportunity, he would, he would have gone back and re-recorded the whole Beatles back catalogue. So we all can feel like this, even geniuses. <laughs> okay, so look, these things are not going to make your mixes much better. You are scared at the moment that people are not going to like your work. So you just want to tweak it and tweak it and tweak it until everyone thinks it's brilliant. Look, you're just not going to satisfy all people anyway. Even if you have a brilliant mix, some people just aren't going to dig your style of music. So look, don't be so concerned about your music being brilliant enough to release. But more importantly, what's going to happen is, is that once you have released that music, it's going to be done. There's nothing else you can do about it. And now you can free yourself up to create your next pieces of music. And those pieces of music are going to be based on your experience and your learning. OK, you're always going to be improving. So please just stop this. It's time to release your music now. So the other thing that may be holding you back is you're not sure how expensive it's going to be and you're not sure if there's hidden extras which these different services are not telling you about. Well, I can't really speak for all of the services because I exclusively do use DistroKid to release my music. So I can talk about them. And I can be honest with you and say for $19.99, if you're releasing your original music, you can release an unlimited number of songs per year for that to all of the major streaming services. We're talking about Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, TikTok, all of these kind of places. There's a, there's a long list. Now, there is no hidden extras. There's some optional extras, which I'll talk about. But as I say, if they are your original work, then you can just release hundreds of them if you want um, for no extra charge. Now, the other thing you may be thinking of is, oh, does DistroKid take a slice out of my royalty? So let's dive into this a little bit because I want to be really clear about this. So first of all, um, you will get royalties from places like Spotify, iTunes, Amazon, all of those places. They get paid to DistroKid, okay? And DistroKid pays those to you. Now, they have an obligation to pay any taxes which are due. And I think that's going to vary depending on what country you're in and what agreements they have with the US, etc. OK, so I'm not a tax expert or anything like that. I'm not giving you tax advice. But just what I can be clear about is, is DistroKid themselves don't take any of your royalties, but they are obliged to pay some of those taxes for you. And if you think about that, it's kind of a good thing because it means you're not going to get into trouble with your taxes that that's going to be done for you. So um, look, that's clearly what happens there, just so you're aware. So there's no like hidden stuff in there. They're not going to start charging you, you know, a dollar per song, every, whatever. You know, they're not going to be doing that sort of stuff. Now, there are some extra promotional things I think you can pay. You'll see that at the bottom of the form when you submit a song. 
Um, but the main thing I want to let you know about, which is an additional charge, is if you're releasing cover songs, okay? So if you're releasing other people's music, something you haven't written by yourself, then you do have to pay a fee for that. Now, the last time I did it, and I think it's still the same, it was $1 per song per year. So I did... I don't know, like, I think I did seven cover songs at some point as like a cover album, uh, and it cost me $7 for the year. So, look, you have to pay that every single year for it while that song is released, okay? So just so you're aware of that. I think that's just incredibly cheap considering you are using someone else's work. Now, the other thing, I just want to mention this, this is not to do with cost, but the other thing I want to mention about this is in terms of getting permission for you to release that music, DistroKid does all of that for you, okay? So you're not going to be going out there and sort of contacting record companies or publishers or artists to ask for permission to use their work. DistroKid takes care of that for you. So that's just one place where if you're intending to do that, it'll be the $19.99 per year plus the dollar. But as I say, just to reiterate, if it's all of your own material, that's it, $19.99 per year. Now, <laughs> if you do follow the VIP link, which is in the description down below, it'll be less than that even because you're going to get 7% off right away. Okay. Now, that does mean that I will get a small cut from that, but no extra cost to you. So I think that works out that you're going to get it for, I think, $18.59 per year. So well worth it, shouldn't break the bank. And if cost is the thing that's been making you hold off, then I hope I've set your mind at rest. Okay, I get it. If you've never released music before, you're probably thinking that getting your music to Spotify, iTunes, Amazon, Google Play, TikTok, etc., is going to be really complex and time consuming. Well, I'm here to put your mind at rest because when you release your music through a distribution service like DistroKid, that's what they do. They distribute it for you. They create those accounts which are needed for all of those platforms and they get the music to those platforms. Platforms. Now, there's just going to be two things that you really need to release that music. One is the music itself, and that's going to be in the, in the form of an audio file which you've exported from your door. And secondly, you're going to need some artwork. Now, this is another thing that I reckon a lot of you could procrastinate over. Yeah, you think, oh, I need to get an artist or a photographer. It needs to be fantastic artwork. Just stop that, okay? That's another thing which is holding you back unnecessarily. Here's my opinion. It's not like the old days when people used to go to a record store on a Saturday and go through all the album covers and they'd be drawn in by some incredible artwork. I don't really think that that applies so much anymore. I'm not saying you should have terrible artwork, but the way people are going to discover your music is really different these days. There's some great sites like Canva, etc., where you can easily just create some album art in just a few minutes if you're not artistically inclined in that way, okay? So please don't let that stop you. So it's an easy process once you have those two things. There's just a form on DistroKid. It's one of those really easy to fill out forms because if you fill anything out which is kind of wrong, they'll let you know right away. They're not going to let you fill things out wrongly. Is wrongly a word? Let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, incorrectly is probably a better word. So, you know, they're going to, they're going to guide you through that form. It takes no time at all. It, Honestly, once you get into the swing of it, it just takes a few minutes to actually release your music. Now, you're probably thinking, well, how long does it take before my music is in those stores? So let me be clear on this. This is my experience. I don't know what guarantees there are, but in my experience with the major platforms like Spotify, your music is usually there within a couple of days. Okay, it's pretty quick. Sometimes over the course of a week or two, it starts to filter out to some of the other services, okay? So if you want to actually have your release available by a specific date, if you want to announce it to people, then it's worth just planning a little bit in advance to make sure it is going to be in those stores uh, ready for your release date. Now, one thing I do want to mention, though, I talked about this earlier. If you're releasing cover songs, like I said earlier, DistroKid 
do uh, get hold of all the permissions you need and everything to do that for you. However, that does take a little bit of time, okay? So my personal experience, again, has been when there's cover songs involved, it's taken between sort of a week to two weeks before they're available and in store. So I just want you to be realistic about that. But the process itself, look, if you're capable of opening up a Facebook account or a YouTube account, then honestly, you're capable of releasing music through DistroKid. Now, one of the things which is really useful in order to help you to break through this barrier, which is stopping you from releasing your music, is to announce publicly that you are going to finish your album, EP or single and release it this year. So I'm going to help you out by letting you do that in the comments down below. But I don't want you to just announce that you're going to make a release. I want you to tell me about that music, what you've got planned, some of the background. And then once you actually do release it, come back here here and leave a link to that music. I am perfectly happy to have links to your music in the comments down below. I love sharing my viewers music when I get the opportunity. So please take advantage of that and do that. Now, one of the things you're going to realize once you start using DistroKid, and don't forget to follow that link down below, is that they've kind of thought of everything in terms of you releasing your music. For example, if you're in a band or some kind of group with many people where you're going to have to split the revenue between different people, you can do that from within DistroKid. That automatically make payments to various different people, depending on how you have that set up. You can even do something called recoupment. That's where a person is entitled to a certain amount of money to pay back for services they've provided or what have you. And then once that's paid back, then that split changes. So all of these kinds of things have been thought of. If you want to find out a little bit more about that, then just take a look at this video right here. I made a video about splits and recoupments. Thank you so much for watching today and I'll see you in the next video.